Uh, cool. So, um, Craig, must be happy with the bounce back from the uh, the week one, the disappointment of week one into the, the week two win over Melbourne. Uh, yeah, they responded pretty well after um, uh, the, the, the mishap in the first week, but um, there's still lots of parts of our game that need refining and, and uh, you know, getting getting a bit of smooth connection right across the ground, and that's that's a bit of a work in progress, but if it's like any other AFLW season, we normally don't hit our straps until, you know, around three, four, five, around that time, so um, sort of following a similar pattern. Does that come with a little bit of tinkering from the from the coaching staff, or is it just the girls kind of still finding their way, gelling together as a as a group a little bit, I guess, coming into a new year? I think it's a bit of everything. I think it's, um, you would expect that your practice games would get you in the right frame of, frame of mind for, uh, you know, your competitive spirit and all that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, clearly we, we were off a little bit in round one. Um, we actually thought our pre-season up to that point was pretty good. But last week we found the start to finish competitive sort of edge that we need to, um, you know, be good in the game of footy. Um, obviously, Ali's performance on Saturday was pretty remarkable to have 43 touches in a game. Um, it looks like she's just taken another step again this year. Yeah, she continues just to get better physically um, and, and you know, technically and tactically as well. She's um, adding layers to a game that haven't been there in the past. And, you know, that's, you know there's, there's no sort of ceiling to what she can achieve. It's, uh, she's right in the prime of her, her footy life right now and has already achieved so much. So last week was uh, quite phenomenal, really. So, um, yeah, good of her to have those little milestones. Great for the team to get the result, but, um, you know, great for her as well. Eleanor making her club debut on the weekend as well. What did you make of her performance here? Good. Yeah, we're sort of back to a bit of a model that we had a couple of years ago when we had four sort of genuine ruck forwards. So um, we're sort of back into that sort of look again now, which is which is good. It it eases the load on on our forwards, but particularly um, our ruckmen. So um, yeah, Eleanor was was super. She uh, was was very competitive. Um, she gets busy with the follow-up after a contest too, which is something we really like. So, um, yeah, her debut with us was was fantastic. And obviously you've got Collingwood here tomorrow night. Uh, last year they came up, kind of jumped you guys a little bit. Um, looks they haven't had the best start to the season. What do you kind of make of them as an opponent? Yeah, well, they'll be, um, they'll be um, desperate for um, getting a result, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a dangerous team around the middle of the ground. They've got a lot of talent there and uh, you know, if, we, if they can hold the ball forward for long enough they'll they'll make life very hard for you so which we sort of found out last year um, so it's going to be an almighty challenge um, it was a bit last year if you remember that game we were a little bit wayward with our goal kicking which which didn't help um, but all you know they, they were far more competitive from start to finish last year and you know got the result that uh, they deserve so we're on, we're very wary about that do you expect a response from the group after what happened out here last year to kind of obviously roll uh, roll golf in Tassie, I think, the week before and then Cal Bering got kind of jumped and you expect a response from the girls? Uh, well, it's a long time and, you know, your group changes a little bit, so it's a long time between games. Um, yeah, if that's etched in the memory somewhere that it wasn't a fun night, then, yeah, whatever it takes uh, to drive them to get a better outcome, that's uh, that's fine with us. But, um, yeah, I feel like we're, we're pretty well prepared for this and and uh, had a good look at them last week and um, watched them play the Hawks who are, who are playing a, a game style not dissimilar to ours so um, there's some things there that the Hawks were able to expose in their game that we think we've got sort of similar possibilities. Obviously you've gone about tinkering the team a little bit like obviously it was on show last year and again at the start of this year is there are can we expect any kind of surprises for tomorrow night's selection? Um, yeah there might be a change um, there's um, we're going to give uh, Kate Luckins a rest. She's she's had a really good pre-season, um, but just is going through a bit of a patch now where she can't get her hands on it uh, enough. But, um, you know, we, we think that she'll be back in the group at some point in the near future. So it's a good opportunity to bring in a new player. And we've decided to pick Sophie Peters this week, which is a great uh, result for her. Good for our academy. She's another academy product. Uh, she plays with all the traits that our players play with, which is, you know, run equally hard forward and back. And and uh, she's very good around uh, care for teammates as well. So uh, she fits in very well with uh, all the things that we stand for and uh, our style of play also. With 
uh, Lutz, is it more around just kind of managing her loads on her return to footy, or is it probably a little a combination of make some form and stuff? Weeks not by. It's now, yeah, it's a combo. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit of you know struggling to get your hands on it, but also managing load and and uh, trying to get the best outcome for Kate. So having a, a game uh, on the weekend, albeit not an AFLW game, but just one where she can run around and get the ball in hands and be confident and ready to go for next week. So. We've got short turnarounds coming in the next two games, so um, we're going to need the whole squad to do that. Do you expect a response from her personally as well? Obviously, if you her calibre, you'd, you'd think that she'll bounce back? Yeah, absolutely. She's um, you know, been a great player for us. She's very professional in her approach, and um, yeah, she'll be, she'll be fine with it, I'm sure. And obviously, you touched on the, um, the short turnarounds was three games inside maybe 10 days, nine days. Well, how do you kind of keep the, the group calm amongst this kind of hectic period of footy? Just taking... One go at a, game at a time, classic cliche, but um, uh, that's 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 our that's our lot at the moment. You know, we're, all we can focus on is uh, tomorrow night against Collingwood. So anything after that, uh, we'll deal with after Friday night. But our focus is family on uh, on tomorrow night.